Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. And I'll be reading 1 Samuel 14 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Now it came to pass upon a day that Jonathan the son of Saul said unto the young man that bear his armor, Come and let us go over to the Philistines' garrison that is on the other side. But he told not his father. And Saul tarried in the uttermost part of Gibeah under a pomegranate tree which is in Migron. And the people that were with him were about 600 men. And Ahiah, the son of Aethob, Ichabod's brother, the son of Phineas, the son of Eli, the Lord's priest in Shiloh, were in an Ephrod, and the people knew not that Jonathan was gone. And between the passages by which Jonathan sought to go over unto the Philistines' garrison, there was a sharp rock on the one side and a sharp rock on the other side, and the name of the one was Bozes, and the name of the other Seno. And the forefront of the one was situated northward over against Mishmach, and the other southward over against Gibeah. And Jonathan said to the young man that bare his armor, Come, and let us go over unto the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will work for us, for there is no restraint to the Lord to save by many or by few. And his armor-bearer said unto him, Do all that is in thine heart. Turn thee, behold, I am with thee according to thy heart. Then said Jonathan, Behold, we will pass over unto these men, and we will discover ourselves unto them. If they say thus unto us, Tarry until we come to you, then we will stand still in our place, and will not go up unto them. But if they say thus, Come up unto us, then we will go up, for the Lord hath delivered them into our hand, and this shall be a sign unto us. And both of them discovered themselves unto the garrison of the Philistines. And the Philistines said, Behold, the Hebrews come forth out of the holes where they had hid themselves. And the men of the garrison answered Jonathan and his armor bearer and said, Come up to us, and we will shew you a thing. And Jonathan said unto his armor bearer, Come up after me, for the Lord hath delivered them into the hand of Israel. And Jonathan climbed up upon his hands and upon his feet and his armor bearer after him and they fell before jonathan and his armor bearer slew after him and that first slaughter which jonathan and his armor bearer made was about twenty men within as it were and half acre of land which a yoke of oxen might plow and there was trembling in the host in the field and among all the people the garrison and the spoilers they also trembled and the hearth quaked so it was a very great trembling and the watchmen of saul in gibeah of benjamin looked and behold the multitude melted away and they went on beating down one another then said saul unto the people that were with him number now and see who is gone from us and when they had numbered behold jonathan and his armor bearer were not there and Saul said unto Haiah, Bring hither the ark of God. For the ark of God was at that time with the children of Israel. And it came to pass, while Saul talked unto the priest, that the noise that was in the host of the Philistines went on and increased. And Saul said unto the priest, Withdraw thine hand. And Saul and all the people that were with him assembled themselves and they came to the battle and behold every man's sword was against his fellow and there was a great discomfiture moreover the hebrews that were with the philistines before that time which went up with them into the camp from the country round about even they also turned to be with the israelites that were with saul and jonathan likewise all the men of israel which had hid themselves in Mount Ephraim, when they had heard that the Philistines fled, even they also followed hard after them in the battle.